Welcome back to HodgePodge. In this tutorial, we will cover the basics of drawing curves in Rhino 3D, otherwise known as exercises 4, 5, and 6 in the Level 1 Training Manual. Begin by creating a new file. Go to the top menu and select Curve. Freeform, interpolate points. As you draw your curve, the line will respond to your point placement. Again, select Curve, Freeform. This time, click Control Points. Your curve will respond to every placed point. We may automatically close this drawing by selecting Close on the left. Your drawing will be affected by what model aids you have selected. Experiment with your model aids to become familiar with how they affect the use of your program. Grid Snap. This modeling aid constrains the marker to snap on grid intersections. You can also toggle Grid Snap on and off by pressing F9 or typing a letter S and pressing Enter. Pressing F7 hides or shows a reference grid in the current viewport of the graphics screen at the construction plane. Ortho. This modeling aid constrains the marker movement to points at a specified angle from the last point created. The default angle is 90 degrees. You can also toggle Ortho on and off by pressing F8 or pressing and holding the Shift key down. SmartTrack uses temporary reference lines and points that are drawn on the Rhino viewport using implicit relationships among various 3D points, other geometry in space, and coordinate axes directions. Planar. This is a modeling aid similar to Ortho. This helps you model planar objects by constraining the input to be on a plane parallel to the construction plane that passes through the last point that you picked. You can also toggle planar on and off by typing the letter P and pressing Enter. Gumball displays a widget on a selected object, facilitating move, scale, and rotate transformations around the gumball origin. History. History updates history-aware objects. With history turned on, a lofted surface, for example, can be changed by editing the input curves. In general, it is best to use history selectively. Recording history makes saved files larger, therefore slowing your computer's performance. OSnap, or Object Snap, used to be included in the modeling aid panel. To use OSnap, you may simply type the command OSnap. We will cover OSnap in more detail later on in this series. As I previously mentioned, feel free to experiment with the different modeling aids. It would take too much time for me to cover every single one and its effect on screen. Thank you for watching. This has been a presentation of the 4th, 5th, and 6th Rhino exercises in the Level 1 Training Manual. Please click the following links to view the next and previous tutorials in this series. Layers, Exercise 7, and the previous tutorial, Drawing Lines, Exercise 3. As always, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe.